Uh, so I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. And it's going to be short as possible because this wig has got me feeling some type of way. Um, Janet Collection Natural Super Flow Deep Par Lace Wig. And this is Yari, I think her name is. Um, the color is SC156. No, no, no. Yeah, um, SC1516, and that's what it looks, oop, that's what the um, tag looks like or whatever. I don't think that's going to focus in, but anywho, so I got this wig, I think it's in a something 17, it might be 1517, the burgundy one. I love that, I didn't have to do anything to it. She got me feeling some type of way, because um, I put her on, um, and I did my part like I always do with my um olive oil I don't have the top on it my hands are wet I just dropped that but I use my olive oil um edge control for my part like I always use and um that was fine but I don't know it was just not working and when I shifted the wig over I don't I feel like this is a, um, like a defect or something. I don't know. But when I had the burgundy wig and I tried that one on, I shifted it for a side part. I think in the review I have a middle part. But I shifted it for a side part and it was fine. It was pretty much even. But when I shifted this one, this side right here. Let me back up a little bit. This side right here was way longer. And... It's got more dark at the bottom than this side. And I said, okay, well, maybe it's just because I shifted it. So I shifted it to the middle. No. That was, mm -mm. I shifted it to the middle, and it was still longer on this side. And it still had more, I guess, brown this is um, on this side. So I said, okay, let me just cut it. So I ended up snipping the wig. Um, just on this side, because I don't know what was going on with this side. And then, on this color, I'm not going to say unit, because like I said, I have the burgundy, which I love, and did not have to do anything to that. But on, on this color, I was just not feeling it. Like, I, I don't know if it's because it's blonde, and blonde looks too wiggy anyway. But, mm, I was like, no. Like, the curls were too poofy, they were too big. I was not feeling it. So, I saturated the hair. You can see it's still wet. Um, and when it dries, it's probably going to dry rock hard, but I don't care. Um, yeah, so I saturated the curls, or saturated the hair, and then I used Eco Styler Gel um, to kind of tone down the curls because it was so... It was all over the place. It was all over the place. And then I, like, tangled the back up really bad when I was trying to shift back and forth to see... Um, what the problem was, why it was so much, um, brown or, you know, on one side. And you can see, well, I don't know, maybe you can't because I kind of fixed it. Yeah, you can see on this side right here, um, it's a good amount of blonde. And let me tell you, my lighting is off, so this is not the true, true color of the wig. But you can see it's more blonde on this side and it's more brown on this side like I can see it. I don't know maybe you guys can't see it but I can see it and it's driving me crazy but anyway um I'm gonna make it work um I love how it looks wet with the wet look um and like I said it's probably gonna dry hard which is fine but I don't know I might do this to the burgundy one I don't know I have to see because I kind of like that one just regular it's fine but this one I had to kind of work with because the root is not as dark as the burgundy one. Um, it's a little lighter. I would say it's kind of like a one. No, nah, it's probably like a two. Um, it might even be a four because it's pretty brown. If you can see, you can clearly see. Yeah, scoot it up a little bit. That, but hold on, it's sliding. Sliding back. Yeah, okay. That that helps shifting it a little bit. Um, 
So yeah, being that the root is kind of like a two or four, I know it's definitely not, it's for sure not a one, and it's for sure not a one B. So with the root being a two or either a four, um, you kind of got to play around with it. And I couldn't, because usually on my lace wigs, I push them back a good amount, and then I'll do my leave out or whatever, my concealer and my edge control. But with this one, since it was so, so light, um, I had to, and I actually probably should move her forward a little bit more. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Um, so it won't be as noticeable. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I've lab long enough. But thank you guys for watching. Rate, subscribe, comment. And until next time, I will talk to you guys later.